What's up, Internet? Kern1776 here with another Battle Box video for you. We're going to unbox Mission 65, the month that Southern Survival dropped on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. It's freaking awesome. Gives you an inside look of all the shenanigans that goes on around here at Battle Box Ranch. <laughs> it's actually in the top 10 of TV shows on Netflix right now. Yeehaw, are we gonna take over Unsolved Mysteries? Heck yeah, we are. <laughs> We've got some changes on the website. Everything's got a little bit of a new look, new t-shirts, all kind of cool stuff, but enough jibber jabber. Let me show you what's in the box. All right, mission 65. So here is the major change. Uh, we've got a new mission card right here. So now it's a booklet. I think I'm gonna have to come up with a new word for this instead of the mission card. So we got the booklet here. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of a easier way to go through the products and actually read all the stuff that I used to write on the back of the mission cards. Now you're hopefully gonna be able to read them a little better because I get a little long winded sometimes. I'm doing it right now. But right here on the cover of the, uh, the booklet here, we got a cool little photo there with our logo. We open the booklet up and we have Mission 65, a little write up about it. And we've got QR code right here so you can scan that with your smartphone and it'll take you right to the website where you can learn more about what's in the box. Open it up a little further and we've got the basic box breakdown, the advanced box breakdown, and the pro box breakdown. And you flip over to the next page and the Pro Plus box breakdown. So you get a little bit better visual there and it's easier to read. And then of course, we got Southern Survival and we got some t-shirts here with QR codes that can take you to Netflix or to the website to buy some Battle Box and Southern Survival swag, if you will. And then on the back here, we've got our Instagram, Facebook, uh, and all that good stuff right there. <laughs> That's some high quality paper right there. First up in the basic box, we've got Nature's Grill. This thing is really interesting right here. So this is the Southern Survival Nature's Grill. Let me get it out of the packaging just so you can see it better. Give me a moment. Don't need that. We've got another layer of plastic here. So the reason why this has got two layers of plastic on it is we want to keep this thing dry. We want to have an extra layer of protection there. So we got that thick plastic that was on there first. And then we've got this other plastic on here because you don't want this thing getting soaked or damp or wet or be sweating or anything like that in your pack. Nature's grill right here. 60 minute grill time, single use disposable and ready in five minutes. This little guy right here is completely biodegradable, made out of natural materials, and it's a really cool way for you to be able to cook outdoors, especially in situations where, you know, you, you leave no trace. Like we, we all want to be sure we leave no trace when we are out in the field. Some places restrict you for building, you know, a, a campfire. So this is a way that you can cook without it being technically a campfire because it is a grill. It won't hurt the environment. And, uh, Comes with all kinds of instru instructions right here. Typically, I say we don't need instructions. You might be able to figure this out without instructions, but I would suggest you read the instructions because it makes it a little bit easier. This bad boy right here has these charcoal donuts here, I like to call them, <laughs> and some fire material here as an insulator. It's made out of cardboard. The structure is made out of cardboard. You got some cardboard feet here, and then you got bamboo sticks and cardboard for your grate right here. I'll put my knife back in. I don't want to lose it. These pieces here, it looks like they got little legs on them, and then you got some straight pieces. This is going to be your framework to get your grill up off the ground so that it's not sitting in anything damp or anything like that, of course. And you've got slots right there. You just slide that bad boy in, basically build you a square. See, we got a square. On your box here, you got these little tabs. Pop those tabs out 90 degrees. And then you've got these slots here that those tabs slide down into. So you wanna light this, just simply take a lighter, you can light it. And just like that, 
you've got a grill. 100% biodegradable, not gonna hurt an environment if you leave it on your site. Of course, we like to say leave no trace, so you can let it burn out and you just got basically burnt up cardboard is all you got left, yeehaw. Hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken, fish, you name it. It's basically a biodegradable grill. <laughs> and it's really freaking cool. Awesome design. We've used it several times testing it out and it, it's really cool how it works. It does a really good job of um, making some good meals while you're on the beach camping, Keep going in your car if you end up needing to sit on the side the road and make yourself a meal if you got some food with you. Tailgating, all kinds of cool reasons to have you a nature's grill right there. Because it's nature's grill. It's not gonna hurt nature. These little lava stone deals or whatever, you know, they're, they're not gonna burn up. But you can bury those or just simply throw them in a fire pit that's not being used or one whatever. You can throw it away. Also, of course, don't leave it unattended. You shouldn't do that with any any kind of fire, right? So be sure you got a fire extinguisher nearby or, or some water or whatever like that, just in case it, something gets out of hand. You know? Really cool product right there, the Southern Survival Nature's Grill. I think it's freaking sweet. So next up in the booklet <laughs> is the Rescue Me Vehicle Escape Tool. This thing right here is really sweet, and you can see it in action in episode two of Southern Survival. I think it's called the Escape Episode. Having a way to break uh, your glass so that you can get out of your vehicle you know, in an underwater situation like on the TV show or uh, you know, any wreck or anything like that where your door's jammed and you can't get out is a plus, right? So this thing right here is really cool because it can simply just hang from your, your visor in your vehicle or be on your keychain or be somewhere accessible quickly for you in your vehicle. Um, it would be wise to have two of these, one for a passenger side, one for a driver's side, just in case it's needed. Have one in every vehicle you have. Keep one as your EDC. Keep one in your purse, if you carry a purse, stuff like that. What's cool about it is it's also a seatbelt cutter. So in a lot of instances, um, when you're in a wreck or something like that, your seatbelts lock up. Especially newer vehicles, they actually have charges in them that will explode during an impact or when your seatbelt yanks real hard, it will explode and lock your seatbelt up. That's a great thing to help you during the event of an accident, not so much after the accident, because <laughs> sometimes you can't get your seatbelt off of you. So this right here has a really effective seatbelt cutter and it's extremely easy to use. This right here is spring loaded. So you simply put this black end up against the glass and with moderate pressure, not a whole lot of pressure, but pretty good bit amount of pressure. Push that up against the glass and there's a spring-loaded glass punch that will come out and it will break the glass for you so that you can get out. And then of course, the seatbelt cutter, kind of self-explanatory, grab your seatbelt, you can cut your seatbelt very easily with this. A life-saving tool right here. We really enjoyed testing this out. You can see it on Southern Survival in episode two the escape episode. That is the second item. It comes with a key ring if you wanted to put that on your uh, keychain. And it's got a zip tie. So you want to zip tie it, you know, to the framework of your, um, your visor. All you have to do is yank it and it comes off the, the clip right there. So the third item in the basic box is in here somewhere. There it is. Mosquito repellent bomb. Mosquitoes are a pain in the freaking butt. I think it's the state bird of Georgia. You know, there's mosquitoes around here that'll pull your sock down just to bite you. So this stuff right here is all natural, made in North Carolina, American made. And this stuff works wonderful. It actually does pretty good for gnats and no seams and stuff like that as well. So it's kind of like a bomb stick, kind of like a chap stick or something that you can pretty much, you know, you can rub it in around your neck area rub it on the brim of your hat, put it on your arm, different areas like that. Just, you don't have to completely soak yourself in it. Just hit your wrists, hit around your neck, your ear area. I like to put some on the brim of my hat, like when I'm cutting grass and stuff like that. Kind of builds a force field, if you will. And it smells great for us. Apparently they don't like it because they're not around when you got this stuff on. <laughs> so it's lemongrass, rosemary, peppermint, and cedar wood is the, uh, 
the fragrances or ingredients or whatever in it. Uh, using sprays and stuff like that, I can't stand them. They, they, I feel like I need to take a shower immediately when I use those things. And you have to keep reapplying them a lot and you gotta carry around a freaking can with you. This right here fits in your pocket, um, fits in a, in a chest pocket if you wear shirts that have chest pockets, fits in your pants, purses, backpacks, bug out bags, glove boxes, you name it. In the back of a four-wheeler, you can have this stuff right here to keep the bugs off of you. So that is the third item in the basic box, the state bird of Georgia repellent right there. Last and certainly not least in the basic box is the Southern Survival Limb Lines 2-Pack. I'll tell you what, these things right here are freaking awesome to have in your pack or in a boat or in a tackle box, anything that has to do with fishing. Catching fish is probably one of the first things a lot of people think about as far as in a survival situation, being able to source food. Not everybody's good at trapping. Not everybody's good at, at hunting. You don't have to be like super crazy skilled to catch a fish. These things right here, Steve and I tested out at the lake a while ago. And man, let me tell you what, we fell in love with them so much. Steve and, and RT, um, they use these things all the time. We added um, an extra layer here for reflectivity so you can see it well at night. They are instant limb lines so that you can quickly set up a limb line set and uh, you know maximize your time and ability to catch fish. You can set these out and then from a distance if you need be, especially at night, you can shine out with a flashlight and you can tell if you've got a fish on your line or not. So it has bank line essentially already on it. Simply rolls out, you can pull your slack, you see here, pull your slack up through so that you can get your hook out. And all you do is you tie this end, your tag end to a limb and then you can adjust the height or depth, I guess you should say, of your hook by adjusting it here. So, as this is hanging in the tree, it sits like this with your bait on it. Just like that. So it's angled down. When a fish hits it and is on it, it will be up like this or at least be doing this a lot or whatever with the fish being on it. So from a distance, you can quickly tell if you have a fish on your line and not have to waste time going to ones that don't have a fish on it. And it's just fun to do, guys. It is so much fun setting these up. Steve has a blast with his friends at the lake. They'll go out at night and set limb lines and just ride around, talk, have a good time, check their lines and catch fish. And it's a really, really awesome thing to have in a pack because it's small, it doesn't take up any space, and really all you need is some bait. That's it. You just need some bait and you can be fishing in no time with these instant limb lines. And then all you do is take up your slack again with your hook in that uh, slot right there and then wind it back up. So you get two of them in the pack so that you can try it out, see what you think. I really believe you're gonna fall in love with it because I'll tell you what, I know I have. It's a lot of fun doing this. One thing I wanted to point out before I move on is it does have a swivel on it, so with a larger hook. So this hook is kind of more apt for your larger fish, largemouth bass, catfish, things like that. Caught a bunch of catfish off of these things. But uh, uh, if, if you want to catch smaller fish like panfish, it's just simply you just take that hood, hook off, put a smaller hook on, and you can catch panfish. Easy to replace your line if you want to replace line or if you need to put more line on it. There's plenty of room to accommodate more line if you want to do that. If you if you got trees that you know uh, need longer line, but there's plenty of line on there. And uh, we sell these on the website as two packs. So if you want to buy more, which I suggest you do, because I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy it and you're going to want to put these in all your different bags. Um, you can find them there at battlebox.com. They're the instant limb lines, Southern Survival Instant Limb Lines. So next up is the advanced box, and in the booklet we've got the Southern Survival 12 by 9 and a half foot 
weatherproof tarp. So it's been a while since we've done a tarp. I think it was the last, um, it was the uh, shelter building tender collection video, I believe it was, box we did. It's ripstop material, and we've done a little bit of upgrading on it. 12 foot by nine and a half foot. So that's a pretty good size tarp, and you can still pack it up to be put in a pack, easily you know, stay in a vehicle small enough to get in most pickup trucks, center consoles and stuff like that. So you can fold it up really, really small. Again, ripstop material, tons of uses for tarps. Obviously, shelter, right? Or covering up something needs to be covered up when unexpected rain comes. Or uh, heck, you can use it as a blanket if you have to. You can use it as a way to transport out somebody who's injured. Tons and tons and tons of uses for a tarp. Kind of like, you know, a shimagi or a bandana. They have tons of uses. It goes all the way over here, and it goes all the way over there. I don't know how else to show you. I mean, it's freaking, yeah, the depth perception right there. The depth perception. Check that out. Got a loop in the center. So, uh, you know, in a shelter situation, or if you're using this to go over a hammock, uh, or probably two hammocks because of the size of it, um, you've got a way that you can run a ridge line or you can tie this up to get some angles so you can have good watershed off of it. It's double stitched, reinforced grommets here on the sides and then on the ends, double stitched, reinforced with nylon webbing and a grommet and it creates a loop. So you got a grommet and a loop, just really, really nice really nice tarp right here. Ba bam Got the Southern Survival logo right there. All-purpose waterproof tarp right there. Really large. Uh, can fold down really small so that you can pretty much put it anywhere. It will actually go back in the bag um, when you fold it up, which is nice. Ripstop material, the whole nine. Great tarp to have for a survival situation or just to have on hand for anything you may need a tarp for. Slip and slides, you know, we've all done that. <laughs> Kid wants to go slip and slide, you don't have a slip and slide? There's a 12 footer right there. So now it's time for the Pro Box. And this month in the Pro Box, freaking awesome flashlight. I've never seen one like this. And when we got it in to check out for testing, I was like, hmm, yeehaw on that. This thing right here is awesome. It's the Nikron B70 rechargeable twist flashlight. So when I first saw that, I was like, hey man, that's cool. That kind of reminds me of the old school, you know, 90 degree army flashlight. Except this is way better. 800 lumens maximum uh, LED on here. I'm trying to remember here, 670 foot focus on this thing. This thing's built like a tank. It comes with a charging cable. It's got a 18650 battery in it. I mean, you, this is quality, man. When you, when you hold this flashlight in your hand, you're like, wait, that thing right there, that's a nice flashlight. But this is the cool part. <laughs> you ready for this? Watch this. Now it's not a 90 degree flashlight anymore. <laughs> How freaking cool is that, man? You know, it's like your normal flashlight, you know, your normal hold flashlight. But all you gotta do is give it a little twisty twist right there and boom, it's a 90 degree flashlight, which is freaking awesome. You can put it on a strap or your backpack. You got light out in front of you. You can set it down and it will shine on whatever you want to shine. You're working on a vehicle. You need to angle it up a little bit at a weird angle. You can, you can do that with this. You're not sitting there like I've done thousands of times. I'm not sitting there trying to find something to hold my flashlight at the angle I want it to do. I can just turn this thing wherever I want and boom, it freaking, freaking works, right? You got your uh, charge port right there. So you can charge this up, keep one in your vehicle. A lot of vehicles now have a USB charge right there. You can always have this on standby, ready to go. Charge it in your home, charge it off of a battery bank that you may have. Your power button here, your light levels, medium, uh, low, medium, and high, and super high. Hold it down, changes to green. Okay, we all know how I like red and green lights with my flashlights. Red and green uh, lights are great for all sorts of situations. And the, the, the biggest advantage to it to me is, is you don't have a bright light that when you turn your flashlight off, then your, your eyes have, a, have trouble adjusting, right? But green lights, 
a lot of animals cannot detect green light, especially deer. You can use a green light when you're out in the woods uh, going hunting and you don't want to spook game. You can use the green light, you can see well, and you don't have to worry about spooking, spooking the game that you're out there. And then you got your red, and then you got your flash. Oh, it's got strobe. <laughs> I didn't know it had strobe, man. I missed that when we were checking this thing out. Frickin' got strobe, man. So you press and hold, get your colors. Tap again to get your red. Tap again to get your flashing red. And then you're back to your normal color there. So, and then, of course, 90 degrees. It's also magnetic, yeehaw. So, how about that? So you're working on something. You got something you can stick it to with the magnet and you can still rotate. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a freaking awesome flashlight. Really good magnet, as you can see. Yeah, twist flashlight. Thing's awesome. And it's got a clip if you want to carry it in your pocket. And it's got the kitchen sink, got heating and air conditioning. You can eat it. Probably not good for your health, though. I probably wouldn't do it. Take the battery out first. So now we're to the last page of the booklet. And on the last page of the booklet, we got the Pro Plus box. And it is the Condor Greenland Pattern Hatchet with Sheath or Mask, some people like to call it. Get it out of the packaging here. Did a test video on this thing. If you hadn't seen it, I'll put a link to it somewhere. Comes with that, don't eat that. Uh, let's see what else I got in here. Comes with a daggone catalog. That's pretty cool. Call that a bonus. You get a freaking catalog. The Condor Greenland Hatchet. Freaking awesome. Okay. American Hickory handle. Really, really nice. Just very, very well made. Uh, put you some, some oil on there, some linseed oil or something and kind of protect it a little bit and kind of give it that nice, uh, nice look. So you can see the grain on there. You got the Condor right here. Real nice leather mask right here or sheath to protect your uh, your axe head. Take that off. I mean, really nice. I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but uh, Condor always um, impresses me with their leather work. They, they've always got really nice leather sheaths and stuff for their tools, and they definitely didn't skimp on this one right here. This is real, real nice. And there's your condor hatchet. Sometimes a camp ax just isn't enough. Sometimes an ax is way too much. Your mid-size like this right here hatchet is is really nice when you, when you need it. Of course, you can use it to hammer. You can use it to split wood. You can use it to cut down things. You can use it to source uh, you know, tinder for fire. You can use it to help start a fire. You can use it to fend off a bear. Probably wouldn't recommend it, but you could use it to fend off a bear. <laughs> I want to be sure I tell you that. So 16 inches overall right there. It's got good weight to it. You can choke up on it and use it, uh, you know, to do fine work. It's got a round steel wedge. That's the same steel as your head here to help you know, keep your head on. You don't want to lose your head. <laughs> Heck, you could sharpen it up to shave, but you know me, I'm against shaving. Also has a lanyard hole here, as you can see, so you can add a leather you know, lanyard to it, paracord, anything like that. I would, I would suggest paracord, because paracord is, is useful, but it would look cool with a leather lanyard right here so that you could you know, put that on your wrist if you do so want to do that. Very well made El Salvador hatchet right there. Yeehaw, love Condor. Condor always has really good stuff. One thing I really like about a lot of Condor blades and especially their hatchets and axes is they've got that hammer forged you know finish to it so you can see it kind of has you know these little divots and all down here in the side and all um, really gives it really nice character uh, but as you can see here it is a really nice heavy block of steel that they they um, you know the, the structure of it is really sound this is just the finish I call it a hammer hammer forged look. I don't know if that's the technical term for it, but uh, kind of gives it that old school, like your granddaddy's, you know, trusty axes and hatchets. And these things will last for generations. You know, pass it down to your kids and so forth. So, really dig that hatchet right there. 
Now it's a tactical hatchet. <laughs> that is a serious freaking magnet though, just FYI. We're just gonna step back, you know, to this item real quick. Look at the freaking strength of this thing. So that's mission 65, folks. The first battle box to come out since the TV show dropped. Really cool box this month. We're really looking forward to, you know, some of the changes. Hope, hopefully you really enjoy the booklet here versus the typical mission card that we've had. Uh, a lot easier to read and it's got, you know, nice pictures so that you can follow along a whole lot easier than trying to read all my, you know, jibber jabber on the back of a card. So we've got the Southern Survival Tarp right here, as you can see, really nice large tarp uh, that can be used for all sorts of reasons, especially for shelter um, and putting above hammocks. If you've never done that, go hammock camping. You'll really enjoy. And then you put a little tarp over top and it's like a suspended tent. It's freaking great. So we've got the tarp. We've got the Southern Survival limb lines right here. Really cool way to catch fish when you're you know, in a survival situation or just for recreation. It's a whole lot of fun. Be sure to go out and use these things and learn how to use them and figure them out. And I promise you, you're going to enjoy it and you're going to want to get some more of those. We've got the Southern Survival Nature's Grill right here. Really great biodegradable grill um, you know, for all sorts of reasons. Tailgates, camping, survival, the whole nine. Great little grill right there that you don't have to worry about having to clean up or anything, um, leave no trace behind type of grill. Then we've got the Nikron B70 Twist flashlight. This thing right here is probably the coolest flashlight I've seen in a long time. 90 degrees, magnetic, you can twist it back to be a normal flashlight, uh, rechargeable, it's got four modes, it's got the uh, green and red, and it's got strobe and it comes with your charging cable. Yeehaw, really dig that. Then we've got the Rescue Me uh, glass punch and seat belt cutter. I'm telling you folks, put this in your vehicle. We always say, ah, that'll never happen to me. And I hope it don't, honestly. I hope that you never have to use this. Whew, it, it's ready to get to work. I hope you never have to use this, ever. But I also hope you've got one in your vehicle, in any vehicle. If you've got more than one vehicle, get more than one of these, okay? Very, very inexpensive way to uh, have security and peace of, mind, peace of mind in case you are in a situation where you need to break your glass and get out of your vehicle and cut your seatbelt. I'm telling you, awesome product right there. And then we've got the uh, mosquito repellent here, balm from Murphy's. I'm telling you, use that. You won't use the sprays anymore. The heck with spraying that crap all over you and you're feeling like crap. This right here works great. It doesn't smell bad to us and uh, it keeps the freaking critters, the little flying freaking blood suckers off of you. State bird of Georgia. And then we've got, of course, the Condor Greenland hatchet right here. Awesome hatchet, great leather work in the mask or sheath as some call it, hickory handle. American Hickory Handle, great build, great quality hatchet, and it's not too big nor too small. It's pretty good size for pretty much any task that you may do in a camping or survival situation. You can keep that on your pack and you're not toting around a lot of weight. And you've got a very versatile tool to do all sorts of things with. And it came with a freaking catalog. So you can look at all the other cool Condor stuff they got in there. I'm telling you, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Please be sure to check us out at BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. If you are a new subscriber to BattleBox and just have started hearing about us, you can go to that website. You can go to the What's in the Box page, and you can see all past missions from this mission all the way down to Mission 1, everything that was in the boxes, and all the videos. So be sure to check that out, and we appreciate you being a subscriber. We also appreciate everyone who's watched Southern Survival on Netflix. If you have not done that yet, please do that. Go to Netflix and you'll find us there because we are sitting in the top 10 of TV shows on Netflix right now. So a lot of people are watching, a lot of people are enjoying it, and we greatly appreciate it. Kind of gives you an inside look at what goes down on a daily basis here at BattleBox. So I'll see you guys next time with Mission 66. <sighs> Thank God for the man who invented air conditioning. We're all spoiled. <laughs> huh.
I got my flashlight ready. I'm gonna go blaze a trail in the dark, find me somewhere to go fishing, and I'm gonna put them on the grill. Hopefully I don't wreck my car on the way. And I hope there ain't no mosquitoes there. Probably will be, I'm in Georgia. I might need that tarp. See y'all.